Number 12 is determine whether the two statements are equivalent. So we have a P and not Q, and we want to compare that to a not, not P or Q. So to compare these two, one of these is an AND statement. And the other one, in the end, is a negation. And so we need to find out if the truth of these are the same or not. If they're the same, then the two statements are equivalent. So we have to create the truth table. And since there are only two variables or two statements, then we only need two to the two, four rows in our chart. So the four rows, P and Q, the four rows should be half true, T, T, and half false, F, F, for the P part. And then on the Q part, we should alternate, T, F, T, F. So we only have one, two, three, four rows. For P, they're half T, half Fs, and Q, they alternate. So as we said, so if I want to do this truth table, as we mentioned, P is true, true, false, false. Not Q would be the opposite of TF, TF. So we'll have to start with F, T, F, T. So when we put these two together with an AND, the only way an AND statement's true is if both parts are true. So that's here, TT. All the others have an F involved, and so the statement is false. So the statement is false. On, so th that's the left side of this dividing line. So that's the left side. On the right side, to figure out the final truth, we'll put it in red here. First, I write down the truth for not P. So P is TTFF, so not P is going to be the opposite. F, F, T, T. And Q, as we said before, starts T and then alternates F. T and then an F. So when we put these together with the disjunction OR, an OR statement is almost always true. So as long as there's one part that's true, an OR statement's true. The only way an OR statement's false is in this case, when you have a double F, then the OR statement's false. Otherwise, OR statements, as long as there's one T, the OR statement is true. So now we want to negate this disjunction, this OR statement. So since the OR is TFTT, the negation will be the opposite, FTFF. And then my last step is to check to see if these are the same. FTFF, FTFF. So are they the same? Yes. And so that means that the two statements are equivalent. So the answer to number 12 is um, determine whether the two statements are equivalent. Yes, the two are equivalent. So that's the answer, yes.